Hello, my name is Mrs. Wendy Milson. I'm a 7th and 8th grade math teacher at John Winthrop School in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I came across fantasy football and math. Thought, oh my God, what a great idea to do with the girls. An inner city, all girl math class. How can it be better with a male dominant sport? So I thought I'd give it a try. So who's your favorite team? Giants. So it's funny since we're using fantasy football. Who's your favorite team? I don't have one. How about a favorite player? Reggie Bush. What are you doing? I'm checking my scores for week 13. It's fun. Why? Because we get to learn, but at the same time have fun. Doing what? Learning about fractions and decimals. Oh, you like learning about fractions and decimals? Now. Oh, you, oh so you didn't like it before? No. No? Did you like math before you came? No. No. Did you like doing it with fantasy football? Yes. So does anyone at home help you? My brother. Yeah, what does he do for you? Tells me what players to pick. Ah, and how, what, was he good at picking them? No. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and who's your favorite player? Reggie Bush. Does anyone help you with this? Yeah. Who helps you with this? My brother. Um, he gets mad when I do poor because he's the one that picked all the players. Um, when I first told you back in September that you were going to be doing fantasy football with mathematics, how did you feel about that? It was fine, actually, because I actually do like football and I do watch it at home. Who do you watch it with? Anyone in particular? My sister sometimes. It is fun and it's easy. It's easier and it's better than using the textbook that we usually use. When I first told you back in September you were going to do fantasy football with mathematics, what did you think? That my head's about to explode. Why is that? Because <laughs> I really don't like math and it always makes my head explode. Oh, what did you, how did you feel about football? Well, I was a little okay with it because I sometimes watch it with my dad when he and I go to watch TV together. And did you, did, was it your dad that helped you pick out your team? Mm-hmm. So how did he do so far? He did okay. He helped me pick out my quarterback along with Kaylee because we're teammates. Ah, very good. So how do you feel about the math now? Uh, let's see, my head doesn't explode. I feel okay now because I can understand it better. So you don't mind doing the fractions and the decimals and mm -mm. all of that it's pretty now? much easy now. So would you rather learn by fantasy football or would you rather learn by a textbook? Fantasy football. When I first told you back in September that you were going to do mathematics with football, how did you feel about that? Okay, because I enjoy football and math. And you do, so you do football at home? You watch football at home? Mm -hmm. Who do you watch football with? My grandfather. Would you rather learn by textbook or fantasy football? Fantasy football. Why is that? It's easier and funner in many ways. So, how is your team doing so far? Well, we're in first place in the class. Wow, really? You think you've got, what, two more weeks? Do you think you're going to make it? Well, you never know. Do you think that girls are, would be better at fantasy football or boys would be better at fantasy football? Um, I think girls. Why? Because sometimes we can learn faster. Huh? so we can catch on with it quicker. I like math a lot more than before because fantasy football made it interesting. We're sitting here with a, an evolution in teaching that's using the internet, it's using innovative teaching techniques, it's using professional sport, it's using play theory, it's using fun, it's using the ability to stick around with friends, and we're putting it all together in a pot Dan poured out the pot and has something that works well.